We all know that language plays an crucial role in the battle over abortion. And it is no secret that the abortion lobby is extraordinarily talented in the manipulation and distortion of language. It is also true that over the years, their loyal little stooges in the media have memorized and embraced virtually all of their verbal gymnastics. Of course, you and I cannot control the things these people say. But the problem is that their deceptions are often so subtle or so seemingly inconsequential that even people in the pro-life movement will fall in the trap of using them. I recently saw a textbook example of this on a Christian talk show hosted by a pastor who I know to be unapologetically pro-life. He was introducing a woman to his audience by saying that she had become pregnant at the age of 14 and was then faced with the decision of whether to have the baby or not. I remember thinking at the time that this is exactly the kind of introduction someone would give if they were being coached by Planned Parenthood. Look, the biological fact is that when a woman is pregnant, one way or the other, she is going to have that baby. The only question is whether she will have a live baby or a dead one. In effect, abortion is simply an unnatural type of childbirth intended to produce a dead baby. And that is exactly what this particular rhetoric was designed to keep people from thinking about. Believe me, the abortion lobby knows that it is one thing for the public to hear that a woman considering abortion is just choosing between having a baby and not having one. But it is quite another for the public to be reminded that in reality, she is choosing between killing her baby or not killing it. And that is a distinction we all need to be making every time we hear this sort of rhetoric being used, even if it's being used innocently by someone who is pro-life. Just remember this, every baby gets born dead or alive.